he was getting ready to have surgery on his disc, uh, some kind of uh, crushed uh, thing, compressed, whatever it was. And uh, hallelujah, I laid hands on him, me and another guy, me and another brother. And uh, I'm telling you, the fire, just the fire of heaven, that healing fire. I'm telling you, that fire just came down in there. And he shook as we was praying. I opened my eyes. I got one hand in his hand. Got the other hand up towards heaven. Amen. Hallelujah. And the brother I was with said, did you feel that? I'm burning up with sweat. I said, that's the fire of God. I believe you're healed. I'm telling you, God healed that man. God healed him right there in the middle of Lowe's. Hallelujah. He didn't have to go into that night. And let me tell you something. That guy got mad at me. Now hear me. He got mad at me. He already had a lawsuit filed. He's going to get a whole bunch of money after this operation. But he ended up getting a little workman's comp settlement. Amen. But nevertheless, God healed him. Hallelujah. Is that crazy? Hallelujah. But one day, one day, if he did, has not received the Lord before his time's over with, he's going to stand before God and have to give an account knowing God's real because of the miracle that was done that day. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. Is that all right? Hallelujah. Glory be to God. I feel the Holy Ghost. I'm telling you, I feel the Holy Ghost. Hallelujah. I feel it. And I needed to feel it. I'm telling you, I got here earlier. I needed prayer. I was under attack in all kinds of directions. Hallelujah. But right now, right now, I feel the Holy Ghost. Woo! Jesus. I'm ready to lay hands on somebody. <laughs> Hallelujah. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. God is a good God. Hallelujah. Any more testimonies?
out of that, the power of God swept over him in such a way the other night. Amen. You had a broken rib, didn't you? You don't want to talk about that? Uh, Oh, Lord. <laughs> Hallelujah. Remember what the scripture says. Amen. Like I said a while ago, Nahum 1 and 9. People get a hold of that word. The book of Nahum, the first chapter, the ninth verse, says, What do ye imagine against the Lord? What do you imagine against God? That God's arm is short and He can't heal? Do you imagine that against God? Do you imagine that He can't deliver people? Do you imagine that He cannot save? So if you don't imagine anything against God, the scripture goes on and says, it says, what do you imagine against the Lord? He shall make an utter end, and affliction shall not rise up a second time. Come on. Glory be to God. That's the word of the living God. Get a hold of that word. Rebuke that devil. Anytime he comes back with a little, a little pain or, or a little temptation or something trying to drive you back into where you once was, rebuke that thing and say, wait a minute. Affliction shall not rise up a second time. Glory be to God. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. Woo, let's stand on the word. Amen. I said, let's stand on it. It's a nail in a sure place. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. It's a nail in a sure place. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. Is that all right? Hallelujah. Glory be to God. We got to know the word. Amen. That's why it's so important. It's so important to get you a Bible and study. Read, 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 read. It don't matter if you don't understand it today. It don't under matter. Just, just keep reading it. Amen. And God will illuminate the word to you. He'll illuminate you before you even know it. Your eyes will open up. And you'll be, wow. And then scriptures will start coming alive to you. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. All right then. We're about ready to move on to the furthest of our service. Amen? Amen. Hallelujah. It's gift time. How many like gifts? Amen? Hallelujah. We're going to collect an offering on tonight. Amen? And we can give a gift unto the Lord. As unto the Lord. Is that all right? Hallelujah. Glory be to God. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. 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 